the Gaming Society was founded in 2006 by 10 friends that figured out they could get the union to fund their video game habit. The 10 of them originally met in classrooms and lecture theatres in the Clark Building. Over the years, society has grown into a larger community, first moving to the training room and then becoming a regular stable of the union's Wednesday afternoon on the first and second floors. As well as playing video games, we've made the decision this year to try and improve the world by increasing our number of charity events. At the start of the year, we were invited to host a stall at the Experience Aberdeen Culture Fair. Basically, we are there providing a warm welcome to international students new to Aberdeen and prints some games for them to meet some new people and make them feel welcome. The Oktoberfest is an event we've run in the past, basically as a charity role at night. Uh, this year we took it to the next level through the use of like, sound and lighting equipment, basically providing uh, an authentic rock concert atmosphere. We were raising money for a British charity called Special Effect, who basically allowed sick and unfortunate kids to have some fun through the use of video games, loading equipment, and other special controllers and so on. Party Party's Mario Party Party was a sponsored gaming marathon we did last year. Uh, we did it in support of Extra Life, which is a worldwide charitable gaming event. Uh, last year, Extra Life raised $2 million from Children's Hospital Worldwide. Uh, we were supporting the Royal Hospital for Sick Children in Edinburgh, and we raised $825, which is over four times our original goal of $200. This Christmas, with our two rags help, we held a donation drive across the campus. We felt it would be nice to do something for the local community. Um, and the donations that we raised went to two very worthwhile causes. The Archie Foundation supporting the Children's Hospital and the support group supported by VSA Aberdeen. This year we ran a Halo 4 tournament in collaboration with Red Frog Support Network and the University. Uh, the event was designed to build community among halls of residents. We had eight teams show up and about 50 people in total. From my experience, gamers often grow up feeling alone, isolated, and because of the negative perception that games have of being this geeky thing to do. This leads to lack of confidence and even just a lack of friends. But the gaming society offers a safe environment surrounded by people who share this passion, and I think, and I myself have experienced, that this has been a fantastic way for them to overcome their difficulties. Well, give me a bit more confidence to, uh, in an interest I have. Just help me get through the uh, universe. Definitely made me a bit more social. Um, Gaming was the first society I actually joined, really. Um, before then it was just to go to uni, go get the bus home, not really talking to anyone much, just doing my course, so yeah, friendship really. I definitely got an, a lot more confidence in talking about people, getting, getting together in groups, that's fingers more Involved, I think, as you can see. We only want to have